Good morning. 20th of September. 28 in the morning. 17 degrees. And... In 200 metres, turn right. I've got an empty trailer on going out to Portage La Prairie to load or switch. We have empty trailers out there as well, but it's not turn always right. a live load and it's not always a switch, so I don't know until I get there. But heading out there and that load will be going to uh, Muncie, Pennsylvania. Two days late in getting out again. Should, should have been leaving Wednesday. Well, made myself available to leave Wednesday. Uh, I need to be back next week. And I end up with a trip leaving on Friday that won't get me back for Wednesday next week. So I've had to cancel the appointment in the shop and the appointment in the body shop. And I'll just have to get done when I get back. Nothing I can do about that. It's got to be done. <coughs> so, anyway, going to head out to Portage La Prairie, that's about an hour and three quarters away, and we'll get this load picked up and be on our way, 2,666 kilometres, so decent trip, from there it, it's usually out to... Um, Oh, I can't even remember the name of the place in Pennsylvania, which is a regular one of ours. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Hazleton, Pennsylvania, which then goes back up to Mississauga. And then from there a lot home. Busy few days. Hopefully. Unless it all goes wrong. If you guys remember, quite a few videos ago now, um, the last load I picked up out of uh, Portage was overweight on the drives and nothing I could do about it. So hopefully that doesn't happen again today. If it does, you'll find out. No problem switching the trailer there at Portage. Yeah, it was a trailer switch. Uh, they'd already loaded it. I've been into a heading list, scaled it off. I, I can get the weights good. I'll have to slide the axles again at the border, but I can get the weights legal. So, we're on our way. We've got... 2,414 kilometers to go. How rough is this road? I bet you could even hear all that rattling on the uh, on the microphone. Yeah, so 2,413 kilometers to go. We'll be down in the in the vicinity Sunday afternoon sometime. Well, late afternoon. Ready for delivery Monday morning. So, let's see how busy it's going to be at the border. We'll be at the border in in about an hour. So let's get on with it again. Well, I've been having so much fun, I actually for forgot to record anything today. So, good day in at the office, 1,045 kilometres, and we've got to Angola, Indiana, or Fremont, Indiana, it's not far from Fremont, and I'm in the petrol truck stop. So we're just about to go into the iron skillet and have something to eat. I'm hoping to be parked up for about 3 o'clock tomorrow. I've got... Uh, 
what have I got left to do? I've got short of 700 kilometers to the nearest truck stop. And then that will leave me 92 to do on Monday morning. So that'll do me. We'll be back tomorrow. Beautiful morning out here in Ohio. Already 25 degrees Celsius at 25 past 9 in the morning. I had to go and buy myself another fan last night. I have a, well, I think it's called a tornado fan or uh, something like that. But just a, a clip on 12 volt fan that plugs into the cigarette lighter for when it's still a bit warm at night. And on Friday night, I plugged mine in, didn't work. So yesterday I checked the fuse on it and it wasn't the fuse. Well, I changed the fuse on it because uh, it's not the fuse that you can see if it's blown or not. So I changed the fuse on it. And uh, still wouldn't work. So I bought myself another last night because it's still still a bit warm at night. I mean, last night when I went to bed, it was still 19 degrees. And it was only going to get down to about 17 during the night. So it's nice just to have the fan on. So up to now, we've had, with the house at home, we've had five yuns up to now. No offers yet. And we've got another viewing this afternoon and another viewing tomorrow. So we're getting traffic coming our way. What we need is an offer. So everybody that's seen it up to now, the ones that we've had feedback from are, are happy with it. They're happy with the price, but it's just not been what they've been looking for up to now. You know, some of them it's a little bit far away, others a bit too much to look after. But the right person will come along. And at least we are still getting the, the viewers. The I'd like it to sell fairly quick so we can uh, get moved before winter. Nobody wants to move in winter. to put the dog in kennels for the, the viewing tomorrow night. My wife's working and no way around it. So she's going into the kennels for what just for one night. Shame because she does she doesn't like it but gotta do what you gotta do. I'd rather uh, she went to a dog sitter somewhere and stayed overnight or went to a dog sitter just for a couple of hours, whatever. Maybe that's something else we can look at further down the line. Finding someone that'll look after her in their own, in their own home. But, whatever. So, plan for today. Oh, come on. I'm uh, going to the loves at Hubbard, Ohio, where we're going to get fuel in a shower. 
and then we're going to the TA, I forget the name of the town, but we're going to the TA which is the last truck stop on the way to Munsey and that'll leave me about an hour to do tomorrow morning. So that's the plans. It's been a non-eventful trip so far. Pretty much know what I'm doing after, but I haven't had it confirmed yet, so I'd like that confirmed today. Because I want to be delivering at 7 o'clock in the morning. That's Eastern time. It's only 6 o'clock back home so there would be nobody in the office but we'll see how it goes delivery done and I'm all empty on my way to Kirkwood New York well it's just on the outskirts of Binghamton New York where I'm picking up a load that is going to, well, it's going to uh, Alberta, but I'm taking it to Winnipeg. I think it's got three different drops on it, so I'm, one of them's definitely uh, Calgary. I'm not sure where the others are, but I'm only taking it to Winnipeg anyway. So with a bit of luck, that will get me back home Thursday morning. All being well. So, sat now showing we've got a bit of a delay, and well, not for another 75 kilometres, so hopefully it's cleared up by then because it's shown a half hour delay right now. We could do without that since my loading appointment is one o'clock and it's already 25 past 10 here so nothing I can do about it I didn't get the reload until almost well it was about an hour and three quarters after it was empty so I could have been well on my way so Nothing I can do, not my problem. It is what it is, as they say. Trucks and buses left lane only. Right. So, bit of a miserable morning. It's, uh, well, it started raining just before I got to my delivery, and it's been off and on ever since. A bit of drizzle, some heavy rain, uh, definitely never dried up since then. Hopefully, it turned out to be a better afternoon. We'll see. loaded and on my way back to Winnipeg. I've actually been driving for about three and a half hours now after loading. I don't think I was in that place half an hour that was me loaded. Paperwork done, everything. One of the easiest places I've ever loaded out of. No hold up at all. Arrived there, back straight on a door and within five minutes he was already loading and as I say within half an hour I'm leaving there again took me longer to do the paperwork because there's three different customs entries because a lot is one shipper there's three different deliveries on this load so luckily I don't have to do any of them I'm taking it back to our terminal in Winnipeg and dropping it there but that is going to be Thursday morning I don't think I'll be able to make it for tomorrow uh, for Wednesday night Nah, it's going to be Thursday morning. So, found the body shop, 
they're going to try and get the bodywork done on Friday. I found the normal shop and they've got the parts in I've been waiting for for the safety. That's going to get done when I get back Thursday. So I'll be well, I should be able to leave Saturday. But I can see that being a bit of a disaster because um, we're relying on the body shop to do their part. Because they don't, you know, work weekends in the body shop. So if it doesn't get done Friday, that's me at home till, Monday, uh, till Tuesday because they'll only be able to do it Monday. So here we are, two o'clock, Tuesday afternoon, on the outskirts of Chicago. Well, I'm still in Indiana here, actually, uh, close to Gary. But there's all kinds of delays. Delays on I-90, delays on I-80. So I've actually come along I-90, and I, I'm at Gary, Indiana. I'm just going to make a left down here and go down Klein Avenue to pick up I-80 again and then carry on I-80 294 that way so I think it was on 94 there but yeah it's a uh, bit of a mess all around Chicago with the traffic so I don't know what's going on well you're not going to be able to see me it's only half six on Wednesday morning I got to South Beloy Illinois last night so that should get me to Grand Forks for tonight and then the trailer's going to Winnipeg, so that'll only leave me about three hours to do tomorrow. Well, maybe three and a half. And then a trailer switch to get back to Steinbach and, and I'll be done. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to go until Tuesday. As I say, I'll be on tomorrow, that's only Thursday. But the parts have turned up and I can, all, I can get my truck in the shop tomorrow afternoon I can't get it in the body shop until Monday so without getting that panel replaced and well I can get a mud guard put on for the safety and it passes safety and I could go out again but I really want I want that panel replaced now it's doing me head in But yeah, we've made ourselves available for Tuesday, so a few days at home again. We're going to go down to the campsite. And then before I go back to work, we're going to close it up for the winter. Campsite doesn't close till the middle of October, but this is already, there's only a couple of weeks left. It's, it's almost the end of September now, isn't it? <coughs> so, we may as well get it all closed up, ready. But, we've only got the worst section today is going to be going around Minneapolis and then the roadworks out after Sock Centre to Alexandria. That'll be the only bits where I may get held up today. So let's crack on. Thursday morning, 20 past 10 and I'm on my way back to Steinbach with a loaded trailer out of Winnipeg. So I made that delivery this morning. I uh, still got two deliveries left on that trailer so dropped that off in Winnipeg Yard and got this loaded one back to Steinbach. 
So once I get back to Steinbach, I left on Friday, back home Thursday morning, and that'll be 3,400 miles. Not a bad week's work, but that's me going to be home now till Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, I had made myself available Tuesday because I've got work to get, get done in the truck that they might not be able to do until Monday. But I then discovered it's a holiday on Monday. So it'll probably be Tuesday before they get round to doing that. So I don't know. Tuesday or Wednesday next week. That's when we'll be back again. So as always, thanks for joining me. Please click like or and subscribe. It does help out. And as always, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheerio for now.